But how much does last year's kind of run help you guys stay comfortable in these situations? Because it did seem like Michigan started to get yeah. rattled there in the third quarter especially. Yeah, 100%. I remember in a huddle um, right after the first quarter, they had, oh, sorry, they had gone on a run, and I, we didn't let it phase us at all. I think that's what basketball is, is a game of runs. They go on their runs, we go on our runs, and you can't let their runs phase you. You know, you just have to chip away and um, get back into it, and then, you know, we were golden from there on out. You guys took control kind of in the second quarter what were you doing well there I think we really were locking in on defense um, we were trying to stop their three-point shooters and we honestly did a more better job in the second half than the first half or in the second quarter but um, yeah we were trying we mixed up our defense a little bit uh, we played three different defenses tonight and so uh, you know that's really hard for another team to try to figure out what we're in and you know what they need to do and so um, that was really important for our game plan how did you lock down on the three-point shooters? Because that really was a concern yeah. in the first quarter. Um, we just played from the outside in. Uh, you know, we just needed to get closer to the three-point shooters, and uh, if they beat us inside, we knew we had help. So we really tried to take away their shots. Have you seen Nebraska in the title game? Is that uh, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. A balanced scoring night. Just how much confidence are you all playing with right now? Yeah, I think everybody's been having to step up. Injuries happen. People have to step up. And it's March right now. You know, it's winter go home. So people know that, you know, we're going home if we lose. So uh, people don't want to. And I think we have a bunch of winners on our team. And so it's been really fun. I've seen it all year. I have the most confidence in my teammates that I could ever have. I have all year. So it's been really fun to see people step up and uh, show out. Speaking of stepping up, Sita Fulter, another mm -hmm. big, big game yeah. statistically. Is this what she's been showing in practice all year? And, and what's it like to she's see her do She's been this showing this for forever. I mean, we go head-to-head -head pretty much every every day. So um, the kid's a stud. I'm glad that, you know, the numbers are showing it. But, I I mean, even if she's not scoring points, the kid is doing something. I don't know why I keep calling it. <laughs> she is doing something amazing, you know, rebounding-wise, assist-wise. I mean, she's always diving on the floor. She's always winning hustle plays. So, I mean, yeah, scoring is showing right now and I'm really proud of her but I mean she's an amazing player no matter what if she's scoring or not but to see her knocking down three she's always in the gym so I'm really proud of her something of a theme or a statement of this tournament just showing the depth of this team because maybe not a lot of teams coming in would have known Sid Falls was going to get close to a triple double but here she is maybe uh, after Caitlin one of the stars of this tournament so yeah oh 100 percent I think she's all tournament team worthy and um, you know, I'm always going to have Sid's back because, I mean, that girl is a hard worker in it. I'm really proud of her that the numbers are showing. And so um, I think we've had a very deep team all year, and it's getting to show right now because, you know, if you have an injury, other people have to step up. So I'm just really proud that people are getting the recognition that they deserve right now. How special is it to go back to the 18 championship game? Because I know, yeah. I know you want to play the max number of games possible with yeah, these yeah. girls, and so you at least have taken it all the way now again on yeah. the big game tournament. In my six years I've been here, I've gotten to the championship five times so that's pretty cool I'm pretty acquainted with championship Sundays now and you know I, I really like them so I'm really happy to make it to Sunday yet again and uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow another game where the uh, players not wearing number 22 had a pretty big game mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's just team confidence coming out and the fact that you guys can put up 95 points while Caitlin only scores 28? <laughs> that is really funny actually. Um, yeah, I mean, we just like you try to take away Caitlin, we have other threats. Uh, you want to do a box in one, we have other people who can knock down shots. Um, we have a really big inside presence, and I think um, people don't realize that all the time. You know, Caitlin's going to knock her shots down, and she's going to have her heroics. Like, she's a stud, obviously. But, you know, we have some really good players on our team, and um, we have depth. <laughs> we really do. And so. It's just, you know, people are showing up and showing out right now. I think March is the most fun time of the year, and I think people realize that on our team. And um, also, we have coaches who know how to game plan for games, and we stick to the game plans, and um, I'm really thankful for that. And I'm just thankful to have these teammates who, you know, they are getting some recognition right now, but I think they've deserved recognition all year. What is it about Iowa that has enabled it to reach this point when Ohio State and Indiana were eliminated in the first first round. Well, I can't speak for them, but I mean, for us, uh, we came out and we won, <laughs> and we stuck to our game plan, like I said, and um, you know, we fought really hard in these games, and we're really excited just to get to tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna watch film, we're gonna get you know studying whatever we need to, and our scout, and um, yeah, 
you know, give us the best chance to win tomorrow. What have you seen from Hannah that allows her to withstand the physical play from the other posts? Yeah, well, she's very strong, and also, I mean, she's just very quick. She can get around, uh, you know, big posts who might not be as nimble of foot as she is, and um, I just think she uses her outside hand really well to, uh, you know, block off defenders' hands, and I've seen that day in and day out, and... Uh, yeah, she's just a stud. Uh, she works on those shots every day, and so whenever they go in, it, it's it's really fun to see for her. Layla, Fili Layla Filio was having mm -hmm. a really strong tournament coming into today. Can mm -hmm. you talk about the game plan to slow her down and also just what was working so well for your defense today? Yeah, we mixed up our defenses a lot, and Layla Filio is a really good player, and obviously we had to hone in on her a little bit more, but um, it's hard whenever she's a really good attacking guard and they have some good shooters on the outside but so we went zone a little bit and I think that helped us. First off, Hannah, are you feeling all right? Are you go down there yes. late in the game? Are you feeling I'm, okay right yeah, now? Yeah, okay. I'm doing good. Thanks. What sort of a fall? I mean, somebody push you? Or? Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I think I just laid down on her foot. Oh, okay. I'll be good tomorrow. What enabled you guys to pull away from them? Um, I think getting stops is really important. I mean, yeah, it fuels our offense, and then time, so we're just gonna, you know, we get out and up the court really well. Mm -hmm. we're not gonna, two years on the know, team, two years going to the Big Ten Championship game, just what's it mean to be able to take this team, help take this team all the way to the last possible game of the Big Ten tournament? I think it's awesome being able to come out here and win these games against great teams. Run and have yeah, some fun. It's just really cool. did you want another shot? Another at, perfect uh, day from the field for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think. What does uh, it feel like to have? You you know, all your shots go in. Um, it feels pretty I good. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that we any of us shoot to miss. So. <laughs> what do you feel about having Nebraska again now in the championship game? I mean, was that team that uh, feel like you got some unfinished business against yeah. the Yeah. Yep. So, we're excited for tomorrow. <laughs> How much does everybody's confidence just feel like it's ascending at the right time now? Um, it's amazing. Um, having everybody being able to shoot it and be confident. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> It's really, it's a lot of fun. How difficult was it in there in the paint? Um, they, they have a lot of big bodies. They do. Um, I made all my shots, so. <laughs> so don't question. <laughs> Is there anything particularly challenging about the Wolverines? Like, I, I know they threw a few fouls on you, but any difficulties that you would say? Um, I think yeah, our three-point defense needed a little bit of work. Scoring or balance scoring and our rebounding. They got a lot of old boards, especially in the first half. So I think that's super important to work on that. Boxing out. We've got a lot Seems of other like you've had some good games with, the, with the, the, what are they called, the power posts? Is that, yeah. uh, is that what we're going to see tomorrow? Or are you I don't think so. I've got my braids in right now. so And I, again, 100% from the field, I might keep it. I know you talked about your free throw shooting before, but what's that process been like of improving? Uh, part of your game. You know, she's um, it, so I think sometimes I hi hyper focus on things and then I'm stressed out sometimes and I'm worried. And, like um, I think just stepping up to the line right knowing I've done all these um, reps I mean, and yeah, it, um, March is just shooting it. Play, uh, they've been going in, so that's good. Uh, so it's yeah. been really fun. And I so think everybody's been stepping up. Yeah, absolutely.